Hello. It is Tuesday, January 31st, 2023. How is everyone feeling on the last day of January 2023? January has flown by. I was in Sundance Film Festival uh, volunteering as, an usher, as a theater person um, in Park City and I'm back. And every year we all come back, we're all a little bit tired, we're all a little bit run down, um, especially the midnight crew, which works until two or three at night, sometimes 3.30 for a huge premiere like we had with Infinity Pool. Uh, that was a late night, but it was worth it. It was a great movie. I highly suggest you go and watch Infinity Pool when it comes out. It is a movie that will blow your mind. So today's Tuesday, the sun is in Gemini until tomorrow. It will be moving out into Gemini, into Cancer tomorrow afternoon around 2.30 p.m. Midwestern time. Um, the moon in Gemini is very friendly, very detached. Um, it's an air sign. Air signs care more about communicating, how you look, uh, and things like that. They're not deep, deep thinkers. Uh, and we need that sometimes. We need to be a little detached from the world sometimes when an air sign comes in. It's great, right? So the moon in Gemini is in harmony with the sun in Aquarius, which is also an air sign. Gemini is a mutable air sign, willing to shift and change. Aquarius is a fixed air sign. Once they fix their mind on something, they are going for it. Um, so it's a nice little thing when the sun and moon are in harmony. It makes us feel good, healthy, vital, what we feel, what we what we want, what we dream of, match each other up. Um, but tomorrow as the moon moves on Wednesday into Cancer, we are going to be dealing with freezing rain for most of the East Coast, uh, most of the country. When I left uh, when I left Utah on Saturday, it was about, that night was about six, 10 degrees walking home from the theater. And so the past two mornings walking my son to school in Illinois has been about 10 or six degrees. So the cold weather's everywhere. Um, now the moisture is gonna be moving in. Um, even though it was snowing like crazy on the top of the mountain in Utah and Park City, when we get down to Salt Lake City into the valley, there's really no snow. The airplanes are all on time. So at this elevation where we're in Champaign, it's going to rain. It snowed a little bit the other day. But with freezing rain coming, it's going to be very dangerous for most of the country. So be very careful. The moon will be in Cancer starting tomorrow afternoon into Thursday into Friday. And then it's going to slowly shift into Leo and at Leo moon on Saturday. And by Sunday night, we will have a full moon in Leo that goes into Monday. And I'll be back next Tuesday when the moon will be moving into Virgo. So with the Leo moon coming in this weekend, we're going to leave behind um, the rain, the emotional up and down of a water sign being in moon. And the moon is Cancer's home. So Cancer is very happy here in the, as the moon is in Cancer. Um, but with all water signs, when it is in the moon, when the moon is in a water sign, we deal with a lot of moisture. And so get ready for a lot of um, hazardous driving starting tomorrow for most people. Um, they say that it's gonna be enough rain to where some Myers might fall down. So get ready for that. Make sure you have your heat going, all that good stuff. Um, and the other big news of the day today is on Tuesday is that Venus is having a beautiful meeting with Jupiter. And here we find a balance of what we want to do and what we think we should do. We're trying to find that balance and sometimes it's not easy to figure out. So that's where we're at today. We're a little, huh, what do I want to do? What do I need to do? So, you know, here it goes. And then tomorrow will be the first day of February. 
and we're still in Aquarius season until the 19th of February. And tomorrow the sun is going to have a beautiful meeting with Chiron, who's in Aries awake. And we might find a sense of purpose or a mission, increasing our confidence, possibly through our communications and connections, according to cafeastrology.com. So we're going to be really wanting to improve ourselves as Chiron is the healer, the wounded healer. So we're going to want to help improve ourselves. We're going to want to stay active. And also tomorrow the moon is going to run into Saturn before it gets into, into Cancer. And the moon is meeting up with Saturn speaks about checking our emotions and making sure we're being very responsible how we act emotionally towards each other and towards other people. It's not going to be something that you want to mess around with because Saturn is pretty serious. So make sure tomorrow that when you do something, you do it out of the goodness of your heart, not out of not out of being rude or bossy or things like that. It's it's it happens a lot of times when the moon is in a water sign will be very emotional. And as it gets ready to meet up with Saturn before it goes into Cancer, Cancer can also be very emotional and very strict, uh, especially anything dealing with our homes, our moms. So you might run into a woman tomorrow that could be a little bossy towards you, or she could be helping you. Just depends on how you take it, the perspective that you're in your mind about it. And then on Thursday, the moon is still in Cancer and it wants us to uh, center ourselves and not overthink. Our home, family, familiar settings are what we want, right? We don't want to think, we want comfort. We want comfort foods. Um, but Venus is also going to meet up with the true north node of the moon at the same time. And Venus is in Pisces. And Pisces and Cancer are both water signs, so they get along. So with Venus in Pisces meeting up with the moon in Cancer, we're going to be facilitating cooperation and positivity in our social lives. We want to grow and improve, and we want to help other people while we're doing it also. Excuse me, I'm not used to talking so much lately. <laughs> Um, so Thursday is a good day for being positive with the water signs meeting up. Pisces is a mutable sign and Venus is in there. So the way we love is very nurturing, very self-sacrificing. And Cancer has the same energy, but Cancer is a cardinal sign. And so it's a leader of emotions. So, so with the moon and Cancer, our emotions are going to lead us. And with Venus and Pisces coming in, they're both going to lead us into the weekend to really hunker down in our homes with the frozen water everywhere. Don't go driving around the highways. Also the mother there with the Pisces is self-sacrificing. So I believe we'll see more, um, more conversations around the latest police killing uh, in Memphis, Tennessee, I believe the mother part of the world will start to really band together and help her children not to be murdered by each other um, because it doesn't really matter what color you are. If, you're, if you want to hurt someone, you can hurt someone. And if you haven't seen The Woman King, I'm not sure I spoke about this last week, but if you haven't seen The Woman King, uh, which got snubbed at the Oscars. Uh, you know, uh, again, it has to do with perspective and how people are seeing the Oscars after last year's fiasco with Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. It could be that there's a little bit of backlash going on and culturally sometimes people can't always handle another cultural situation. Um, they don't want that. And if you watch The Woman King, you realize that 
violence against each other over time, over centuries, tribal, tribal situations always are the reasons why a culture destroys themselves. Um, tribalism, uh, anything to do, provincialism, anything to do with inner hatred of other people will always destroy your own culture and your own people. If you can't get along within a family, that family is destroyed. If you can't get along within a culture, that culture is destroyed. And then you try to focus yourselves together to fend off other people. Um, and that only gets you so far too, because it turns out we're all humans. We all have culture. We all have tribalism. We all have provincialism. Jealousy, hatred, all comes from within the way we are, the way we coexist in the government. There's so many things happening. And again, Mars is in Gemini, awake. But pretty soon, uh, Pluto is going to visit Aquarius, as in Capricorn right now for another four or five weeks. And it's going to go to Aquarius starting in March. And I've spoken about this before. When Pluto reaches Aquarius, everything will come under scrutiny that has to do with groups of people. Because Aquarius rules over society, internet, um, the way we believe in astrology, the way we rule over sports. Um, a lot of these things are going to come up for review and the police will be one of the biggest overhauls from now, 2023 to 2040 ish. Um, as you can see, many things have already changed. Uh, teaching will also come under scrutiny. Uh, the way we raise our children, parenting will come under scrutiny. Parents will be under the gauntlet uh, for raising children that become mass shooters, children that become serial murderers, um, children that go out and just murder people, children uh, will be really, really We'll be focusing on children a lot and the way we way we are still a child inside and what we still remember as being a child. So all these things are gonna be coming up a lot. Uh, and Saturn will be moving out of Aquarius and into Pisces in about a year. And when that happens, our emotions, our mutable emotions, our sacrificing for people, our, our our way of expressing love will be under scrutiny. So, <clears throat> a lot of things are happening. And by Friday, the moon in Cancer will also be having a sun Uranus square on that day, destabilizing some parts of our lives, highlighting problem areas that already exist. So, sun Uranus coming in on Friday with the Cancer moon will be focusing on why do we want to hurt other people? Why can people stand around and kill another human being in public over and over again, over the centuries, over the decades that have gone by? Why is this okay? How do they feel that it's okay? And then to lie about and pretend that they didn't do anything wrong. Uh, when they can beat up a person, a woman, a man, a child, anybody that they want because they're police or because they're older, because they're bigger, because they're stronger, because they're meaner. So these are things that are really going to become under scrutiny with so much stress on the police force, so much stress on the world right now. There's not enough nurturing going on right now. The American woman is under attack in the world as a bad nurturer, um, creating all these problems in the male psyche by not giving enough love to babies. 
and there are a lot of movies coming out about that to teach you about moms and it's just something we have to think about. So by the time Saturday comes in and there's the full moon in Leo on Saturday, on February 5th, we will have the full moon against the sun in Aquarius opposites. And this happens a lot in when these things are going on. We are forced to look at our ego, Leo, um, our love of children, uh, our need to be happy uh, through games, through hanging around with children, having family. Um, it is a very personal, personable sign, personal sign, Leo. It's about us and our ego and our love for what we want. And that full moon's gonna be opposite Aquarius sun. And the Aquarius sun is also fixed and Leo's fixed. What is fixed air, what is fixed fire. So the air feeds the fire, flames the fire. So Aquarius sun is here to say, since it's opposite of the Leo moon, there's a balancing act going on. How can we love ourselves and our kids, but still be able to participate, not as personally, but impersonal in a group setting, like Sundance, when we're all volunteers and when this big group of people come together, about 30 of us every shift um, to do this one big job. So how do we leave our personal, personable, personal, <laughs> personal agenda aside, but also use that personal agenda to feed the flames of the group, of the society, good for the whole? How do we do that? We have to detach our ego. We have to say, well, within this unit, I can shine as a Leo. I can do my job the best I can do. And therefore, when I'm doing the best I can do, I can make my group better. I can make my group stand out better. My group can become a leader of another group. So that's how we meld the two. When we play a team sport, we have to let go of our ego, but it's still attached because we're helping the group. So that's how we do that. And so that's very difficult for a lot of people. They can't let go of their ego. Um, even within a group setting, five police, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 people in Memphis as a group killed this young man who is an individual fighting for his life, calling for his mom. He's three doors down from his mom's house. And he leaves behind a four-year-old son. So again, that feeds into the whole per per perpetuating that black children don't have their daddy around because they're constantly being arrested, being treated certain ways. And so we've seen a lot of this violence. Um, here we have black officers killing a black young man. Um, here we have a Chinese man killing Chinese people and another Chinese man killing another Chinese people. Um, so a lot of times people don't see race or culture and Palestinians are attacking the Jerusalems, the Jews. And so it goes on and on and on until we can see that we're all the same. We're all humans. Uh, there's going to be outside pressure on us because there's still prejudice. And that prejudice keeps hitting us and when it hits us, it makes us feel less than. And when we feel less than, we need to lash out. And when we lash out, we might lash out our own culture for making us look bad. Say, oh, well, you killed other Chinese people, you make Chinese people look bad. You killed other black people, you make black people look bad. You killed other white people, you make white people look bad. So on and on it goes until we can just say, stop killing people, period. Stop starting wars. Let's come together, let's help and share in our natural resources that we have left. Let's try to be good people. Let's just really try, see how it can go. It's difficult because you can't always trust people to do the right thing and so then there you lack trust and so then more problems are created, right? 
So the planets are letting us know what's coming down the pipe. Be prepared for it. The Uranus situation here with the sun is already showing the disagreements that can happen between the individual versus the team. The team's always going to beat up on one individual. And that individual will not be able to survive a team beating up on them. So we are in the midst of a huge cultural reckoning uh, where we all have to come together and say that as humans, we have one culture, which is to raise our children to be good people, to help our fellow people to survive and get what they want, help them through education to rise above where they are, help people to become kinder by also being kinder and being a role model on the earth. But basically, it starts at babyhood. You have to treat your baby well. And then your baby has to grow up. And if you treat your baby well, your baby will have forgiveness and understanding and not be rude to other people for no reason besides your own insecurity, your own hatred of yourself, your own reasoning for being rude and saying rude things and being passive aggressive. It's difficult. And so we can learn to understand each other and try to help people. It's great, but not everyone wants help, right? So then if you don't want help, that's fine. But don't lash out. And it's not easy. I'm telling you, when I'm hungry, I'm hangry. And that's something that I've learned to try to control. Um. And I think that's my biggest thing in life right now is just learning that there's plenty of food. I am not uh, in a culture where I don't have food. I can go to the grocery store and get food anytime I want, right? So if I ever get too hangry, I should know, hey, there's a snack. So if you ever get too angry, you should say, hey, they're just human too. Maybe they're having a bad day. Uh, with Venus and Pisces, uh, with the full moon in Leo, and the sun in Aquarius, and Mercury is also in um, Aquarius, I believe. With all this going on, we have the intellectual capacity right now to help each other be better. And it's not easy, and it takes time. So Mercury is in Aquarius right now, also with the sun. So our thinking is also very detached and that has been causing some trouble with people um, having empathy for other people. Because when Mercury's in an air sign, you're not thinking about empathy. You're thinking about talking, communicating, getting ideas across, but there's no empathy there. But with Venus in Pisces, our heart is at its highest vibration can be because Venus is exalted in Pisces. So our love for humanity is exalted right now. We need to use that before Venus moves out into Aries. Because once Venus moves into Aries, we're going to have a fire, angry sign. Our hearts will be angry. Lots of protesting, lots of war. The war in Ukraine will ramp up. So we only have about another two weeks of Venus in Pisces. And then Mercury will be moving into Pisces on the 2nd of March. So for a little bit of time, we're going to have that Venus and Aries with Mercury in Aquarius. When we have that combination start on the 20th of February in Pisces season, our thinking and the way we act will be very detached. And with the Pisces sun, uh, the Pisces sun can be very um, all or nothing also, and very wishy-washy, not sure what to do. And so when that happens, the Pisces sun can be lackadaisical. It's not the same as the moon in Pisces. This is the sun in Pisces, your ego. Your ego would be a little bit raw. So as February heads in, we're going to need to really understand that being detached will help us to make new rules, but also will harm us in terms of helping other people. We may not have that 
strong need as we do right now with Venus and Pisces. So that's it for this week. Um, today is nine o'clock, four o'clock. It is my twin card today ruling over nine o'clock. It is Justin Timberlake's birthday, the triple threat. Uh, so four o'clock here is giving us some clarity of mind uh, with the mind expansion consciousness, nine o'clock. This is my moon card, the nine o'clock. So really about mind expansion is you have to learn to really think outside the box and figure out how to help heal the world. So that's where I'm at. Okay. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I'll be back next week. Thank you for listening. Be sure to check out my YouTube channel. Last week I didn't get my podcast onto my Astro podcast podcast face page. It was only on YouTube. So I just remedied that. That's now available on Anchor, Spotify, Amazon Music, all the all the streaming services, Apple Podcasts, all those. And I will upload this now and I will talk to you guys next week. I really appreciate you. Thank you for your patience and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.